Hello everybody, this is Daniel and welcome to episode 16 of this Watford series. And this is going to be a really exciting episode. It's the FA Cup semifinals versus Liverpool. And before we start off with the gameplay, I wanted to point out a comment that said, I hope you never get bored of making these videos. And you know what, I can never get bored with the amount of support I'm getting right now. Um, over 500 likes on my last episode, that's absolutely ridiculous. So once again, thank you guys. I um, hope this isn't getting annoying me thanking you, but I'm just pretty thankful for you guys and all the nice comments and likes you leave on my videos. But let's get started with this game. As you see here, one big change to the lineup for Liverpool, and that's Losandro Lopez at striker. Probably took in the starting position of Andy Carroll, but he's on the bench there. And so my approach to this game was to, I switched my attacking from balance to attacking, and I'm going to just try to work the ball around, keep possession, and wait for something to happen. Um, wait for some space in the pitch with either Taylor or McGinn, and you see right here in the seventh minute, I get that, <laughs> and right off the bat, I get a goal. And as you see this replay, it's actually a really nice goal for, McGinn gets the ball off his foot pretty quickly. I thought he was going to get tackled there, and Pepe Reina just can't handle the ball. So I go 1-0 to nil in the, only the seventh minute, and I'll definitely take that. That's how I like to start games. Um, put the momentum on my side. In the 14th minute here, though, you see Charlie Adam here on the ball, passes it over to Lopez, who tries to cut inside. A little bit of a scare there, but they get the corner here, and Agger with the header, but Loach, an easy save for him. And like I said, I'm just trying to start to keep possession of the ball, control the game, and it, it might seem like I'm analyzing this a little bit too much, but it really does help if you go into a game with the game plan, especially when you're playing a team that's has better stats than you and everything. But you see their perfect timing on the run from Sordell, and I mentioned it last episode, these chips. You know, that's a hard angle to score at, but these chips over the keeper, they work really well, and Pepe Reina just a little bit late to get that ball out of the net, and I go up 2-0 so early in the game but in the 25th minute Lopez I'm trying to keep him try to keep close to him but he gets a shot off goes past Loach and it is two to one and so already an amazing game a goal fest from the start we'll skip ahead to the 45th minute where Yates nice cut inside there and you know what? I thought he was going to curl that one into the back of the net but the um, defender gets a a leg on that one and it goes out for the corner on the corner here Sordell going for his hat trick and he does not get it but you know what that was a good half as you see six shots four on target and I have the possession in my favor not by too much but you know what? I'll take that and I mean the whole thing is I'm just gonna keep coming out with this possession you see there Marvel win is actually injured on this play and Suarez gets the ball from Lopez <laughs> good move there absolutely faked me out I thought he was gonna take the shot but we're gonna skip ahead here to the 85th minute you see Andy Carroll and Amu coming in and you know I'm trying to work the ball around here I could just pass it around in my bet in the back four or something for a win but hold on to the ball too long there and it's suddenly a two on three now it's a three on three Andy Carroll plays the ball to Amu and he is going to cross this over and this is the FA Cup semifinals right here and <laughs> Stuart Downing wins the header over Loach I do not know how he does not punch that out of the area but we are going to go into extra time, and I can't believe that. I, like, my heart just sunk when that happened. But you know what? I have 30 minutes to make something happen here. And in the 99th minute, Taylor with the ball on his foot passes it over to Sordell. He passes it to McGinn, who I don't know what happens. Maybe he stepped on his dress there because that shot was, <laughs> I don't know, hit it with his purse, I guess you could say. But in the 110th minute now, you know, it's really hard to defend against when they cut back like this and. It's so close to almost getting a goal on me, but that was the end of the game. So we are going to penalty kicks, and as you see here, my penalties, um, the stats of my players aren't very good, but we'll start off Suarez going first, and he shanks it over the goal. I couldn't believe this, so you know what? This is a huge advantage to me. I'm going to try to take advantage of this with Yates on the penalty kick, and he calmly puts it away. Probably my best penalty taker, but I always pick Sordell to take my penalties. Moving on here to Steven Gerrard on the second penalty for Liverpool, and of course he puts it away, the skipper, and we'll move on to Sordell, and you know, you see the bar moving down there, it's moving pretty fast, so um, pretty glad that I could put that away with Sordell, keep the goal in my favor, up 2-1, to one. Stuart Downing right here, 
follows Gerard's penalty kicking strategy and you know now we're tied but I can put myself back in the lead with win and <laughs> Pepe Reina guesses the right way but goes low and I go high still up by one goal and this is Daniel Agger with that beast of a left foot you know he's got some power on it <laughs> he shows it right there he puts it over the bar so right now I have a chance to win with none other than Lloyd Doily with one goal and over like 350 matches for Watford he can send me to the FA Cup Finals right now with this penalty, and he does, and I win this game against Liverpool. Epic match there, and I'm glad to come away with the win, so I'm off to the Finals, and it's going to be against Manchester City, so obviously a very hard match there, but a lot of you guys mentioned you wanted me to do a live commentary for this, so it'd be like a 15, 16 minute video. I could do that, and I would love to do that for you guys. It's a great suggestion, so leave your... Leave comments, tell me what you want me to do. I could do a live commentary on the full game and just post the full game, or I could cut down the clips and just make it kind of like an episode. So it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section. You see here $1.4 million. That's a huge increase in budget, and I will definitely take that. Anyways, guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed that epic match. And guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to put the comment on the FA Cup Finals, and the daily streak of uploads continues. I will upload the last of the regular season matches tomorrow. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next episode.